What up, Heart Squad? Have you ever wanted to make your very own vintage Pokemon mystery box? Well, this video, I will be telling you how you may just have a chance to do just that. But I would like to first show you some of the packs that you'll be choosing from, including doing a big midweek vintage Pokemon card pack opening. And then, of course, letting you know how to make this empty box be filled with potentially the following packs of beautifulness. First off, we have one of, if not the rarest and most valuable sets, EX Deoxys, a set originally released in the mid-2000s during a period where Pokemon wasn't all that popular, believe it or not. And this pack has a chance to pull this guy. The Rayquaza Gold Star Pokemon card. And of course, Latias and Latios Gold Star as well, which are beautiful too. So this pack will be one of them and we'll be opening up all of the packs that I show you on today's video. Next up, of course, you gotta love the OG, the original Team Rocket. Now, you will have a choice of either first edition Team Rocket packs or just the original unlimited Team Rocket packs. So I wanna give you multiple options. Next up is Gym Challenge. And of course that lovely Blaine's Charizard and Blaine's Arcanine is in this set and they will just be unlimited Gym Challenge packs. Then we have, ta-da, Jungle. This specific one is just a long stem pack. No difference between regular non-long stem and not. It's just these were used to be hung on the shelves. And so, of course, you got to have jungle in there. Another doozy. EX Team Rocket Returns. Another chance at pulling multiple gold star Pokemon cards like Trico, Torchic, and Mudkip. I myself have pulled a Mudkip Gold Star on this channel before, so there's another one. Next up is a big set you will love, especially if your name is Rhyme Style. Neo Genesis Packs. Of course, this one still has the Meyer. $2.96, not $296, but $2.96 for those packs. That was left on from years and years ago. And then, of course, you'll have a chance for that. Then we have... Base set two in all its lovely glory in the Charizard and all of that. Neo Discovery, so it's not just Neo Genesis, but Neo Discovery. Another base set two. We have a couple Gym Heroes. And just this past Tuesday, I opened up uh, Gym Heroes Booster Box and Sunday. Please go check out those videos as well as the remainder of my first edition uh, French base set booster box will be opened up this Saturday. So that's going to be fun. And then you'll also get some Japanese packs, Team Rocket, and of course, some Fossil. So that's most of the packs that you will have an option to choose for your very own. But if you would like your chance at getting a chance, making your very own vintage box, and all these packs are just from my own personal collection to try to give y'all across the world a chance to open up your very own vintage packs. Please, please, please subscribe to the channel. Leave a like and let me know your favorite pack of all time, your favorite set of all time in the comment section below. So there we go with that. Let's get right into it with a big pack. Neo Genesis and my favorite pack art, Lugia. Of course you want to pull Lugia. Let's see what we can do. Uh, card trick, I'm completely forgetting the card, card trick for this set. Maybe, uh, I, I didn't even think it, you, there is a card trick. Let's just get into it. All right, one of the best sets of all time. A lovely Chikorita, Hootie and the Blowfish, Chinchow, Lediba, Meryl, Onyx, and excuse me, hopefully I haven't already passed the rare card. Granbull, not the biggest fan of Granbull, but this card is very cool looking. Zatu, gotta love that, Natu. And a Ledian is the uncommon. And then the rare is a Mary. She's, hey, she's a YouTuber. Microphone and all. 
So Mary is the trainer rare and then an energy. So it's just one card for that specific pack. So we'll get some more Neo Genesis later. Let's get into uh, one of my current favorite sets, base set two. And of course there's the big three Pokemon that I would love to pull from one of these or basically just the hollow in general. And uh, just two to tango for base set two for the card trick. And let's begin. So I'm excited, like I said before, First edition base set French box opening continues this Saturday. So just a couple days. Energy! No, it's not. It is like that for the uh, French box, though. Uh, that will be... I haven't opened it yet, by the way. So I'm really hoping we not only get one of the big three, but all three of the big three. Charizard, Blastoise, and Venusaur. But Switch, Tangula, Squirtle, Imposter, Professor Oak. Now, I have done a video like this before. I think the title was... I let a fan make a $4,000 box of mystery box Pokemon cards or something like that. And uh, that went really well. Uh, I thought I would do it again. Um, but first, I kind of needed to make another announcement video on it. And then, you know, of course, do a crazy vintage opening like today. Uh, this is four cards, I think, for Gym Heroes. So I really do hope uh, that you enjoy all of these vintage openings that I have been doing recently. Sabrina's ESP. I always love that card. Energy, Onyx, Staryu, Tangula, Voltorb, Zubat, Sabrina, and a Brock Sand slash non holographic. I will also add for some info obviously, just like these, the packs will just be randomly pulled from my collection, so they will not be weighed. Uh, the last video that we did when the person made their $4,000 box, uh, it was just like hollow left and right. So kudos to them on all of their amazing pulls. I think there was like a Blaine's Arcanine that I pulled from that gym challenge in that one. Sabrina's Jinx, given the love and Fuchsia City Gym. A, oh my gosh, so that's the rare, but an awesome looking one. Sabrina's Gengar. So the card trick was different for this one. Uh, but a beautiful, beautiful rare card. Sabrina's Gengar for that. Koga's seen some stuff. Sabrina's Ghastly. Erica's Oddish. Growlithe. Drowsy. Magikarp. Clefairy. All right. What do we got next? Let's get into a Japanese pack. Uh, I did pull a Charizard, a dark Charizard from one of these a few weeks ago. And did do a uh, guess that grade on it. And that one was... Uh, 0.5 away from a BGS Pristine 10. I think it's just in the front, so. Uh, so, so crazy uh, of that guess that grade. Also on the front page of my channel, grading my rare first edition cards. I think it was the one like Mewtwo, first edition base set Mewtwo that I pulled. Oh, that's so cute. My favorite Squirtle card of all time, by the way. Mankey, Jolteon, Raticate, Magi, War Turtle, and a Gyarados, but look at that. This has the, uh, when I pulled these as a kid, see that? I swear, that's gotta be purposely done, looking like a Pokeball in the background. I swear that has to be. I uh, always thought that was as a kid, and I, I still do technically now, but there we go. So our first pull of the day is a Dark Gyarados. Let me get that in focus for everybody. Excuse me for, okay. And there we go. So our first pull today, yeah, that's guaranteed in those, but let's go with another Neo Genesis pack. I'm so hoping, I mean, I want to get a hollow, obviously, but um, for this one, I, it was just one, but it's so weird with Neo Genesis. Like if you get a hollow and some print runs, it's in a different spot, but look at this Cyndaquil, the little smiley face in the background. Stainler. Betty hit HBO show. Hopefully it comes back. Swine of Snubble. A beautiful Pokemon March card. I love the illustration for this one. Clefairy. Fan P is the uncommon. Bayleaf. And it's a holographic Inferos! No way! Look at that beauty! And he's standing for all of us! A round of applause! Centering on this one looks perfect! Now, the thing with Neo Genesis is factory lines and print lines. 
This is a dark colored of the background, so this is going to be difficult to spot any... Oh my gosh, guys, I don't see any! Let's take a look at the back. There's a little whitening at the right, unfortunately. Fortunately, excuse me. Not too bad. Guys, what a pull! What a pull! From a Neo Genesis pack, and it is actually in fairly good condition, too. So, big win in my book with that one. Next up, it's Neo Discovery. Espeon and Umbreon Hollows are the main holographics that you would like to pull. I think there's a Houndoom Hollow that I pulled somewhat recently, or a couple of them, which is pretty cool. Um, you know, Big Bro, Neo Genesis, Destiny, and Revelation uh, all get. You know they're due but this set really doesn't because it doesn't have any shinies in it so but the umbreon and espion are beautiful holographics um i think it's just three for the card trick but if not excuse me all righty then what do we got pupitar under the earth metapod still the artwork for this set is beautiful as of course there is the rare, everybody, and it's a fairly common one, a Caesar in the pack art. That was the same. So there we go. So there's the rare for that set. Unknown E, Centret, Hopip, Caterpie, Dunsparce, Unknown, Pineco, and a Houndor. For the last card is the Uncommon. So, all right. Let's get into another base set, too. As I was lifting up this pack, I saw the EX Deoxys and Team Rocket Returns, which I'm very excited about to open. Uh, but we will see what we get from this pack first. Two to Tango. Hopefully, one of the big three. Energy. Energy. Bato Free. Dodrio. Kadabra. Metapod. Machop, Squirtle, very nice. Meowth, Abra, and a non-holographic Dragonair is the rare. All right, what do we got? Let's go with a jungle pack. Uh, I think this is the only jungle pack that I have for today's opening. So, Jolteon anybody, I would love to get a Jolteon holographic would be not only the number one card, but probably one of my favorite, if not my favorite from the set. Uh, I guess it's just three cards for jungle. Sometimes long stem packs have different... Uh, uh, how they pack them is differently from the booster boxes. Nidorina, Dodrio, Nidoran, Bellsprout, Bess, Pokeball, Spearow, Meowth, Goldeen, and a non-holographic Clefable. Which brings me to, if y'all can, please, 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 Check just to be sure that you're subscribed to the channel, not just for your chance to get that, but just to make sure it's working, uh, even if you think you are. And then of course, ring the notification bell as well. There has been some several bugs going on as we get to the Deoxys pack now. Uh, several bugs going on with making people unsubscribe. So just make sure that you are, please. I appreciate it. So here we are, EX Deoxys. Uh, odds of getting that gold star from just one pack is extremely rare but you never know. And what would be crazy is if one of you get it when we do the next, whatever you want to call this series. <laughs> uh, but here we go. So of course this only has nine additional cards in this pack. So it's just two cards for the card trick. There's very cool reverse holographics in this set. And of course, EX cards as well. Strength Charm, Boost Mobile Energy, Beldum, <gasps> Natu! How do you do? Loving it. I'm loving it. Numble, he's actually pissed there. Usually he's just like distraught. Golding aroused. Fanpy. A ball toy is the common, but there you go. The logo for EX Deoxys is on the reverse. And a Rayquaza! Non-holographic in the Rayquaza pack art. How about that? So it would be even better if this one was with the logo on it for the reverse, but still, I will take that, especially for just one pack. Very, very nice. Alrighty then, so several packs to go. Let's move on to this golden goodiness. Fossil. Uh, like to get the Honker, Dragonite, 
um, Articuno. Gang There's so many amazing holographics in the fossil set. And the thing is, you are guaranteed a holographic in the Japanese packs. But here we go. All right, Arbok. Weezing. Graveler. Gamble. Fossil. Horsey. Seen some stuff. Slow. J Geo dude, and it's a beautiful Articuno. Wow, does that absolutely glisten on the Japanese cardstock? Gosh, there's the back of the card. A little off center from left to right, but honestly, I probably was going to get it graded anyway. That is just a beautiful looking card. So. Articuno, it really makes it a lot of fun when you are guaranteed a, a vintage holographic like that. So next up, let's go into Gym Heroes with Lieutenant Surge, Blaine's Maltress, Sabrina's Gengar. See if we can get one of you, but four cards. And of course, here we go. Make sure that's in focus. Erica's Oddish, Blaine's Last Resort, Perfume, Energy, Pikachu, Slowpoke, Misty's Duel, Onyx, Vulpix, Zubat, and a Brox Zubat. Anybody have Repel Spray? That's too many Zubats in a row. But that's a rare one. So I'll take it, I guess. What do we got? Oh, let's go with this. Is this the Lone Team Rocket Unlimited pack? All right, let's see if we can get it. Who cares about the Dragonite Blastoise or the Charizard? I just want another Squirtle like the Japanese pack we opened. Uh, three cards. So here you go. Of course, you gotta love Team Rocket, Dark Gloom, War Turtle, Charmander, Abra, Psyduck, Ekans, Mankey, Machop, Rat. Wait, we didn't get a Squirtle. Oh. And a Dark Gyarados. Did we pull a Dark Gyarados before? Oh, we did. That's cool. So there it is. Japanese form versus the English form. All right, so non-holographic there. That's okay. Um, we have four packs overall remaining. Let's go with another fossil. Does anybody want to make place their call on if... We're gonna get another Articuno, or just whatever hollow you think we're gonna get, because we are gonna get one, so that's what's fun. I'll go with Gengar, even though we have been pulling Haunter a lot, and I do like that, I'm not upset. Magmar, Cloyster, Weezing, uh, some type of Jigglypuff trainer, <laughs> Coolio, <gasps> Crabs, no more of you, Repel Spray. He's seen some stuff. Are we already at the rare? <gasps> wait, wait, what was this? It's a beautiful Moltres! I will take it. Look at that beauty. And centering's perfect on the front. Perfect on the back. This is a potential grading candidate. Uh, I don't see any swirls, unfortunately. Just kidding. I don't care that. Okay, I love swirls. Uh, but no print lines or scratches. Potential BGS 10 candidate with this one. Beautiful looking car. Look at that. That's such a gorgeous car. Wait, we got another bird. We just need Zapdos. That's awesome. All right, so nothing too too crazy um, in general, but let's go with this Japanese Team Rocket pack, and then the last two is Neo Genesis and EX Team Rocket Returns. So, but hey, this is, could be a potentially big pack right here. Um, and you always got to make sure you open it up this way. Not like the English equivalents because the hollow is in the front and you would ruin it. Beautiful Meowth. Hey, it's another chance of getting a Squirtle. Anybody want to get a Squirtle? Don't, he's flipping us off. Full heal, Rattata, Charmeleonaire. Whoops, sorry about that. Oh, okay. It's looking at stuff. Mankey, Giovanni, and a beautiful Alec Sam. That it really is such a beautiful looking hollow. So a little off center from right to left, but not too bad, not too bad at all. So put that over here and let's get to uh, some pretty big packs. Neo Genesis and EX Team Rocket Returns. Let's go with Team Rocket Returns. 
Hearts in. This is a great pack art with Scyther. A very, I mean, it's a underrated set, but at the same time, people love this set. So that didn't really make sense, did it? Two cards, gold stars, but at this point, let's just enjoy uh, such incredible pack. Rockets Admin. A Dark Weezing. That's a little too realistic for me. That's not too realistic for me. Onyx. Sandy. Hopip. Whoop, there it is. Psyduck on the beach. Oh, it's a... That's so crazy. I was about to say Drowsy, who loves long walks on the beach from like the original Sun and Moon base set. Now we have the EX Team Rocket Returns Drowsy. And a Dark Tyranitar non-holographic. Still, I'm gonna go ahead and put these two in a sleeve just because that set, uh, reverses are pretty rare too. So very cool. So uh, we're here. We are at the final pack, a Neo Genesis pack. Can we get a Lugia, please? Uh, Karchik was just one, I believe. So, uh, from the back, right. Okay, so here we go. Is that a Lugia waiting for us or is it a trainer? Is it another Mary? <laughs> Sunken. Spinarak. Totodile. Whoop, there it is. Very nice, Pikachu. Slowpoke seen some stuff. Oh, that's a cool one, arcade game. Goldenrod Game Corner. Look at that. Little symbols of Pikachu, Snorlax, and Kalfifi, Vileplume. Bill's Teleporter, and the uncommon is an Ariados. The rare is after this? Oh wait, yeah, it's after this, okay. No, that was it? Oh my gosh, stop doing this to me. What was the rare? The arcade game, I knew I haven't seen that one. This is a cool one. I was saying it was cool, and I will stick by that, even though it's a trainer. So. Arcade game is the rare non-holographic trainer. All right, Hard Squad, I hope you enjoyed this. Good luck to everybody. In the meantime, click on those videos right now. My name is Lean Hard. Stay awesome, stay positive, and as always, I will see y'all in the next video.